This video will show you how to install and add a new front-end server for Silk Central Test Manager. To begin, double-click the setup.exe file, then click Next on the introduction page and select the language you would like to install. Click Next and review the license agreement before clicking Yes. This dialog shows that IIS is running on this machine. So if you want to install the front-end server over IIS, you need to select the custom installation. In this case, we need to select the custom installation anyway. So select that and click Next. On the next page, select the, the options you require. So you need to uncheck the application server, execution server and chart server. Leave everything else checked. If you wish to install the front-end server on IIS, you need to select the Silk Central ASAPI web server option instead of the Tomcat web server option. Click Next and review the, the installation overview. Then click Next to begin the installation. When completed, you can choose to view the configuration manual or the release notes for Silk Central. In this case, we will just click Finish. If we then open up the Silk Central Service Manager, we will see that only the front-end server is installed and running. To add this new front-end server to your existing installation, navigate through the Start menu to the Silk Central home page. This will open the front-end server login page. On this page, you need to define the, the hostname or IP address of your application server. Then click Login. This will then take you to the, the normal Silk Central Test Manager login page and you can log in using any user credentials. You can now direct users to use this URL as opposed to the application server URL in order to help improve performance of Silk Central Test Manager.